There's plenty to be had. So thank you. Um, the Honourable David Bennett. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, yes, it is. Uh, uh, the, the last point I was talking about was the young mother with the Best Start program, but also um, young single people that actually make the conscious choice to go into work um, have lost their tax cut under this bill. And under this bill, the incentive is not there for those young people to go into work. The incentive for them is to seek to go onto a program of becoming a beneficiary, which is the very point that the Honourable Grant Robertson made in his replies to members in this House when they were asking questions about the incentives and the dependency that this will create on families. I also want to um, talk about um, the uh, amendment to the, well, the SOP that Sarah Dowie has put forward. And um, that is in regard to, and Sarah is in front of me, and um, she has put forward in, a, um, in regard to the Best Start Tax Credit Subpart 1, an amendment. And that would to add a new clause 12A. And that would effectively mean that any person receiving the Best Start Tax Credit uh, shall ensure that the dependent child has attended a 15 to 18 month core wild, well child check. That is putting an incentive in there for parents or those that are receiving the Best Start tax credit that there is actually an obligation um, of some uh, attempt and, uh, to make sure that that child has had the best start in life by actually getting that well child check. It is a very important part of any beneficiary regime that um, there is also uh, a, a requirement to do something. We've heard in this House um, from the ministers involved in, uh, in the beneficiary areas that they would like to see and continue to see that there are requirements put on beneficiaries. And so the, to get the best start tax credit, effectively um, the individual would be or a beneficiary from the government, and therefore there should be some obligations um, placed on those that do receive uh, that benefit. And Sarah Dowie has put forward um, a very good SOP that would require some kind of um, consideration on the behalf of the person that is getting the benefit to actually have a, a, the 15 to 18 month core well child check. And I would like the Minister to explain why the government has not put any requirements on, um, on, on parents in this situation to undertake those kind of obligations uh, when they talk about something that is going to be uh, for all and uh, really is not. It is only limited to certain groups in our communities, and especially those that are in the benefit. Madam Chair. I call the Honourable Lise Galloway.